Morning guys and welcome to this quick Pilates session to get you moving and get everything sorted and ready for the day. Okay, so we're going to start off on our backs. Just take a nice deep breath for me. Tuck through your chin, open out through the chest, pull your shoulders down away from your ears, sink your ribs down, feet hip width apart, find that neutral through the lower back, tighten through your pelvic floor, good, and then we're just going to be lifting and lowering each leg to tabletop here, always a good place to start, just get those deep muscles switched on, good, make sure you bring, don't bring up the toes too high, and I just want you to take some nice breaths here while we're doing this. Put your hands on your ribs and your lower outer ribs so you can put your hands around there. And when you breathe in, feel like you're pushing into your hands. And breathe out, breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. Good, carry on with those breaths. Stop your legs. Feet hip width apart and lowering one knee out to the side and coming back up. Just start off the breaths again. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Don't worry too much about the timing with the legs. Just make sure you're directing your breath into the right place, which is lower outer lungs not into your tummy, into here. Of course, the breath only ever goes into your lungs, not into your tummy, but it's what expands to make room for the breath. So breathing in and breathing out. Okay, tabletop with the right leg, stretch away, back in and down, continuing with that breath. Tighten that thigh each time. It feels quite good first thing in the morning to squeeze and tighten through the muscles. Gets everything woken up. Good. Point or flex at the ankle. Try flexing. Gives you a good stretch down through the back of the leg. Good. You hear those clicks. Everything getting moving. You can relax your arms now if you want. Just remember to keep that relaxed breathing going. Good, you can have your eyes closed while you're doing this. It's quite nice, almost meditation-like. Or you can have them open and just focusing on a point ahead of you. Brilliant. Last one of these. Lovely. So, with the hands behind the head, we're just going to do some crunches, lifting the head and shoulders, and then back down again. I want you to use these almost like a stretch. If you really tuck the chin and lengthen the back of the neck and keep the elbows wide, you almost feel like you're stretching down through the back, drawing in the tummy but not flattening the lower back as you crunch, keeping that little arch in the lower back as you crunch. You can breathe in as you come down and breathe out as you come up. When you breathe in, make sure you don't flare the ribs, keep them down still. So when you lower from the crunch, keep the engagement here. more. Lovely. Okay. Reset your position. Tuck your chin. Open your chest. Stretch your fingertips down towards your toes. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. You've got your little arch in the back. Your pelvic floor is tight. 
It's slightly more challenging on the abs now. Bring that right leg to tabletop. Draw in the tummy. Pick up the left. Right down. Left down. Good. Up. Up. Down. Down. Just engaging these muscles here. Make sure that tummy doesn't move. You can see my tummy from the side. When I pick up that second leg, nothing moves. Up. Down. Down. Keep breathing. And just recognize how when you breathe in, you're breathing into your ribs. You're not breathing down into here because that disrupts that area and what it's trying to do. Good. Now swap legs. Keeping that chin tucked chest open. Good. Two more. Last one. Okay, with your arms out to the side, knees and toes pinned together, we're going to pick up the hip and the foot and take the knees over to the side. Stretching the back, but also staying strong through your abs, because on the way back, I want you to pull that hip down to the floor, pull the foot down to the floor, and then pick up the other side. Good, making sure those knees stay level. Good, it's nice to breathe this one, breathe out as you twist, because it's like a ringing motion. Breathe in as you come back. Breathe out as you twist. Good. One more each side. Hip width apart, shoulder bridge is always nice to get the lower back moving, tucking under, curling up, pushing your knees away. Good, trying to come down one vertebra at a time, peeling down one vertebra at a time. Curl, 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 find that little arch again, tucking under, scooping in, curling up. Good, and peeling down, think about some wet sand imprint the lower back into and then find that neutral again relax the feet push into the heels push your knees away arms down by your sides good at the top take a nice breath in and breathe out and curl back down let's just do one more of these tucking under curling up and curl back down. Brilliant. So a few dead bugs to really get those tummy muscles working for the day. Bring your right leg up, draw the ribs down, scoop in the tummy, arms up in front of you, stretch out your right leg and your left arm, drawing in that tummy really strong. Breathe in, breathe out as you stretch out. Drawing in the tummy. Brush my teeth. <laughs> really stretch out that leg and actually pulling the toes up again. It's really good for that stretch. And keep working the tummy. And Okay, legs down, arms down. Okay, so we're going to move on to our sides. All right, tuck that bottom hip back, tuck the ribs back, 
scooping in the tummy. Just a couple of glutes. So push that top hip away. Lifting that top knee. Good, get your glutes switched on. If you can do any walking today, this will stabilise through the pelvis. Help you to walk well, run well, whatever you've got planned after this. Sit well, perhaps. But it fires them up before sitting, um, which then switches them off again. Never mind, we'll do it all later. Feet up. Get that top knee up. Good. Bottom leg down, top leg forward and backwards. Keep your tummy strong. Stretch out, pulse up and down. And big movements, one, two, three, four, five. Staying on this side, make a pillow for that arm. Other arm stretched out in front, we're gonna breathe in. And breathe out and over. Breathe in again, and out, okay. Breathe in, stretch that arm up. Breathe out and twist. Lock your hips in the same position. Good. And again, breathing in. And out. I'm going to do one more. Good stretch of the back, this one. Good open of the chest. Tucking the bottom hip back, tucking the scoop the bottom under and lifting that top knee. Keep that breathing relaxed, keep your tummy working. Bottom leg down, top leg forward and backwards. Keep that tummy strong. Stretch the leg out, pulse up and down. Big for five, one, two, three, four, five. Brilliant, come down, make a pillow for the head. Other arm out in front, breathing in, and out and over. Good, breathing in, breathe out and twist, keep your hips locked. more. Stay back there as long as you want to actually for the stretch. Good stuff. Right, we're going to come up and do some mermaids. Stay on this side to start with. So there's your position. That foot tucked in for the inner thigh, the other one out to the side. Hand on the floor, um, and we're just going to stretch over, bring the elbow down to the floor. Keep the hip down, keeping this bum on the floor there. Good. Like I say, stay in these stretches as long as you like. Breathe in, breathe out. This breathing's going to do some real good for the day. Okay. And we're going to go to the more awkward side. Of this side. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. Other side. 
going to end up going the same side to start with, okay? Down onto the elbow. One. Right, so we're going to finish on hands and knees, okay? Knees underneath, hips, hands underneath, shoulders. And we're just going to drop and lift through those shoulder blades. Elbows are locked, and we're just moving through the shoulder blades. Settle in between, and 10 press-ups from here. Just box press-ups, one. Two, three, four, five, keeping those shoulder blades stable. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop there, stabilize through the shoulder blades, and then we're just doing the pelvic tilt. Stretching forward with that right arm, up and over and round. Good. And then swap, stretch forward with the left, up and over and round. Two, three. Four. One more each side. strong, not arching the back at all, so when you lift, there's no arch. See, my leg's not actually lifting that high. One more each side. Cool, stretch back on your heels. Breathe in and out a couple of times there. Nice deep breaths. Stretching your fingertips forward. Forward, arch your back. Breathe a couple of times again. <whistles> Put your toes under. Stretch your bottom up. Stretch down into your heels. Bend and straighten each knee. Bring them in a little bit if you want to. High on both toes and down. Cool. Come down. The last thing I want you to do is just stretch through your neck a little. So one hand on the head, stretching over. Let's get in a better position here. Sit on the other hand if you can. Take the head over to the side, keeping that shoulder down. Breathe. Good. And side. Taking the head over. Dropping the shoulder. Good. All right, guys, I hope you can take all of that with you for the rest of the day. Um, feel nice and stretched out, activated and strong in the right places. 
and it'll help you hold your posture, all that breathing, uh, and make you feel good. All right.